So hello my friends and welcome to another Open the Armory video. I'm here today to tell you a very interesting lesson from nature. Yesterday I was walking down this very path by this stream type place here near some what we call the falls. And behind me you can see this stream. It's a really nice place. It crosses over this uh, drivable path but right now it's flooded over with water and it seems like it's like that most of the time, but that could be an object lesson on its own. But that is not the lesson I want to teach today. Today, I want to tell you about something I saw yesterday and came back to look for today and was quite surprised to see how quickly things had deteriorated from what I had seen the day before. Now, right in front of me is the remains of a snake a snake that appears to have been tread down by a vehicle. If I can show you here, right, right underneath my hands, here's where the head of the snake was, right here. There's the backbone, some other more of the backbone, some more of the backbone. I mean, snakes are all backbones, so more pieces of snake. But you can see that this snake has clearly been destroyed. And that is the promise that these snakes we can tread them under our feet. We are given that promise that we can tread over serpents and scorpions. The very demons themselves are subject unto us by the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, our Messiah, the Anointed One, the Son of the Living God. We can claim the power and authority of His name and rebuke the devil and his angels. And we can tread on these serpents and scorpions, and we've been given that authority. So I, my appeal to you today is to not let the enemy have any power. To rebuke him, to cast him aside, to speak as Christ spoke, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan. Rebuking the devil, not even addressing their words. Jesus seldom gave the enemy any opportunity to speak. He rebuked the devil, and we can do the same thing. Even the devils themselves are subject unto us by his name. My appeal to you today is to rebuke the devil and his angels, to reject any authority they have on your life, to repent of the sins and wickedness that gave them any permission to enter, and to turn from your sin, change that direction, so repentance is to turn from one direction to another one, to turn away from your sin and selfishness, to turn to God. And my appeal to you today is to do just that, to reject the devil, reject selfishness, to ask God to help you overcome your temptation, overcome your addictions, overcome your poor lifestyle choices, to make consistently healthy decisions, and just to do your best. And when you do your best, God supplies the difference. He understands. He winks at our ignorance. He understands that we are weak and that we can only accomplish these things through Him. So my appeal to you today is to do these things that I have suggested. To claim the authority that has been given you by Jesus Christ. To be a soldier of Jesus Christ. Endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ to go forth wielding the sword of the Spirit, taking the sword of the Spirit out of its sheath, never letting the promise rust, wielding it with a holy violence, cutting yourself free from all the entanglements of sin, wielding that shield of faith and raising it high, lifting it to heaven, unraveling that cord of green cord of faith that you can keep in your heart and raising it heavenward, not letting it get tangled having those feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and going out and sharing the message, having that breastplate of righteousness, having that righteousness by faith, believing that Christ has washed you and made you clean, knowing that though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as the snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Remember these solemn promises. Remember that you can tread those serpents and scorpions under your feet. And just as what I think was a car that was the one that destroyed that snake, we have just as much power to tread over the serpents and scorpions spiritually in our lives. Be a vehicle for the Spirit of God. Just as the donkey carried the Son of God, let the Spirit of God be carried in you. Be the donkey that carries the Son of God to the world, to the people. Be 
the vehicle in which the Spirit of God is delivered to the planet. So remember to tread upon those serpents and scorpions, to claim the promises, to wield the sword. Shalom, my friends.